Welcome on back to some more Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Relaxation, the sweet embrace of pretty ladies. Where's Johnny going? Johnny, come, Johnny, come, come back. I'm gonna get ya. Uh, to enter or not to enter, that is the question. Wherefore does this what's philosophical the answer? quandary torment me? You totally get where I'm coming from, right? Um, sure. <laughs> I knew it! Let me guess. After you've had your fun, you fall into a spiral of shame and self-loathing. But it only lasts a moment, doesn't it? Next thing you know, you're right back here again. Huh? Got a question for me? Seen Tifa around? Tifa? My love? My light? Who are you and how do you know her? <laughs> no, shut up. I don't care. Tifa's here? Why? Tell me why! Oh god, no. I did this to her, didn't I? She came looking for me to beg me not to leave her. <gasps> Step out of it, Johnny. Your Tifa needs you. Tifa, I'm coming, baby. Who was that? Nobody you want or need to know. Oh wait, no, 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 go back, go back. Go the wrong way. This town is so hard to navigate. Check it out. I think we might have found our man. And he's a gaudy one. Yeah. Open sesame. Hello. Not so fast, buddy. Back it up. Got no need for pretty boys here. We're looking for someone. Let me guess. First time in Walmart, kid. Yeah? So? So people can't just walk through the Don's front door. Especially men. How about me, then? Can I go inside? Maybe. But you're gonna wish you didn't. You know Leslie? She's kinda cute! Homely, but cute. Excuse you? <laughs> kinda cute's not gonna cut it. Come on. Can't you help us out? Do you have any idea what you're getting yourself into? Aerith. Seriously, Les, she's not half bad. With a little work, I bet she'd clean up real nice. Cloud, requesting permission to kill. Denied. <sighs> if you're really sure you want to join an audition, then you're gonna need to get official approval. And who can give us that? The trio. The only ones in town who are considered authorities on Corneo's particular tastes. First, there's Chocobo Sam. And then there's Madam M over at the massage parlor. Last but not least, there's the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea. They're an eccentric bunch, to put it mildly. And you should know they don't recommend just any girl stupid enough to come knocking. Hmm. Duly noted. Thanks for the info. We'll be back soon. Alright, what's down here? Nothing. What about the other side? Yep, got some loot. And nothing here. sure about this if you've got any better ideas not really so that's the way it is has hmm. yep. been invited into the Don's estate huh but to earn such a privilege you must first win the approval of one of the trio right meaning I now know what I must do to save her <laughs> stay strong Tifa help is on the way Johnny's <laughs> coming baby 
not the sharpest tool in the shed, is he? Nope. Let's go check out this weapon accessory shop. Welcome to Walmart's premier weapon shop. Ah, oh, you do have a weapon for me. Hard edge. Okay, let's grab that. Do come again. All right, so let's equip the hard edge. You have Infinity's End. Uh, wind up and unleash an overhead strike. Increase damage on stagger. Cost 2 ATB. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. Battle settings. There we go. Get rid of Disorder. Put on Infinity's End. So you're 43 off the bat. You're, without even leveling you up, you're already at 57. Shit. Yeah, this is my true... Yeah, that's definitely going to be like a true um, tank build. Okay, yeah, definitely. All right, let's um, go to attack power, attack power, anything else? No. Any of these materia slots? No, okay. You, I want the attack damage boost. Okay, let's go here. What stagger siphon? Recover HP when dealing damage with unique abilities to a staggered enemy. I like that. And attack power plus eight. Okay, that's what I thought I had. All right, cool. This weapon is going to be like a true, um, a true tank build for me. So I'm going the tank route. Hang on. Let me set the map. All right, gonna go this way. Going the right way. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Crawl into a hole and die. Not you two again. Told you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. Got nothing for you. Now scram. Wait, here's out. You're one of the trio, right? I want you to get me into the audition. Huh? Pretty please? Why not? Really? Sure. Next time an audition comes around, I'll put your name in the hat. <laughs> Next time will be too late. Can't you get me into this one? You want in now? No can do, sweetheart. Hardy recommended Tifa, and she's got this in the bag. How can you be so sure Corneo will pick Tifa? You never know, he might pick me. Damn, you really do want in, don't you? Sure do. Then how's about we play for it? Call it, Missy. Heads or tails? Yes, right. And I'll grant you your wish. <sighs> yes, wrong. And you'll leave me in peace. No deal. I don't trust him. No thanks. Oh, not a gambler, huh? I am heads! <laughs> huh? Hey, 
Hey, don't look so glum. You're a pretty enough gal. Just not quite Corneo's cup of tea. But if only the Don will do, try convincing one of the other two. That's why it's a trio and not just the Mio. Now skedaddle. Wait. Mind if I see that coin of yours? Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Trick coin. I had a hunch. That's cheating. And that's the wall market way. Lesson learned. That's why I said Don't no cheat. deal. Did not trust them. Let's go this way. Yep, just gotta go straight. <laughs> Relax, man. Relax. Gotta run. Oh, there's this energy pulsing from my fingertips. I guess they're closed right now. Okay, so Madam M, I'll come back for then. So what do you say we grab a drink? Goddamn Torin. It's not our job. It's supposed to go down like this. Is this the place? Just wanted to see Andrea. I think so. Curse my Let me handle this. You wait out here, okay? Then why would I do that? No, I'm coming with. I'm not really sure that... You're a man of many talents, but talking isn't one of them. Hmm. This true. I am but a bee fluttering about the garden. Whoa. <laughs> Good evening. Oh. Hey, uh... Welcome to the heart and soul of Wall Market, the Honey Bee Inn. Is there a honey boy or girl whose company you desire? Uh, we're here to see Andrea Rodea. Ah, the shining star of the Honey Bee Inn. Now, are you the one who made the appointment, sir? Can I have your name? Oh, we don't have an appointment. I see. I'm terribly sorry, sir. An appointment is required. And the earliest available slot is three years from now. Three years? Three years? All we want is five minutes. He can spare that. I need his help for the Corneo audition. Yes. Well, regardless of the circumstances, you cannot meet him without an appointment. Is there really no other way? It is rare, but Mr. Rodea does occasionally extend invitations to individuals who catch his eye. Otherwise, I'm sorry. But there really is nothing that can be done. I guess that's that then. Oh well, let's try someone else. Hey, are you nervous? Maybe Madam M's open now. Let's I'm see. So oh, There's a chance she's open. There's something down right wrong with definitely it. open. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Just the two of you? Step right up. Now then, what manner of massage do you desire? Say what? Is this your first time in our establishment? Yep. Mm -hmm. We are a hand massage parlor. An excess of fatigue and tension can make even the simplest task a terrible strain. It is our pleasure to relieve our patrons of that tension. <laughs> and what better way to seek relief than through the skilled ministrations of a professional? So now that we understand each other, what manner of massage do you desire? We're not customers. Then you are... Hoping you can help us get an invite to an audition with oh, Don for the love of Say another word and I'll shove this fan right down your throat. Oh. Uh. Uh, this is the last thing I need. You're young and stupid, and I suppose that means you think I'll let you off easy. 
So, you want what? A favor? Well, here's the thing. This is a massage parlor, a respectable establishment. But if you don't require our services... Then tell me! Is there any reason I shouldn't have you dragged outside and shot for wasting my valuable time? Mm. Well... Hmm. Name? Cloud Strife. Hand. Huh? Give it to me! The strong, firm hands of a fighter, yet they possess a certain elegance and grace. How can she tell through okay, gloves? Okay, Cloud. Let's see what you're made of. After that, we'll talk. So, which course will it be? Uh, the luxury course. <laughs> Then make your way to the room in the back and wait. Cloud? <laughs> this exclusive treatment is reserved for our most well to do patrons. First, the hand cream. A generous coating for each and every one of your richly deserving fingers. Let's start with the tips. That's it. Relax. I'm only here to help. Oh, did that hurt? No. <laughs> then I'll move on to the base of the fingers. Let's see this if is we so can't weird. Do this <laughs> get that blood flowing. No, don't fight it. Stress is poison to the body. And finally, some gentle stimulation for the palm. No more than a touch. Just like this. Oh, what was that? A cry of pleasure? Is this how you like it? How about this? Or maybe this? <laughs> That was really fucking weird. <laughs> if that was to your liking, do come again. Right. Yeah, no thanks. <sighs> How was it? Huh? It was all right. You okay? Yeah. You're acting weird, Cloud. I am? Really weird. Hmm. Think you'll make a habit of it? Um, no. No thanks. Alright then. I think I've seen everything I need to see. So? Tell me what you want, and we'll take it from there. You're one of the trio, right? I want to get into Corneo's next audition. And why in the world would you want to do that? Hmm? Okay. Really? But you cannot go dress like that. Huh? I could never send Corneo a candidate wearing such a plain-looking getup. Doing so would call my position as one of the trio into question. Is something wrong with my outfit? <laughs> it's comfortable, isn't it? Cloud the fashion critic. Look, just take it outside the parlor, would you? Sorry, we'll stop. So, what should I do about the outfit? <laughs> you just leave that to me. I'll put you in a dress so fabulous, you'll look like a million gill. So long as you can afford it. How much? What I said. But don't worry. It's obvious you can't afford a dress with that kind of price tag. So listen, I have an idea. Uh. There's an underground coliseum in this town. 
Up for a fight, Cloud? Good. Because I'm getting you into that arena. If you win the tournament, I'll transform Aerith into a drop-dead gorgeous beauty. Sounds good to me. Prize money? <laughs> yes, for the person who got you in. So, what do you say? All right. That's what I like to hear. You'll need this. They're already letting fighters inside. You should hurry. Run along. All right, I'm coming. Don't you worry. What have we gotten ourselves into? Nothing good. I wouldn't expect a fair fight in this town. Think we can win it all? That's one thing I'm definitely sure of. Um, so I the right the confidence was I feel like a too cocky, okay? The doors are now open for tonight's Corneo. Please back the line. Line. This way. Hang on. Who are you? You lost? This is for spectators only. What's this? You're here to compete? Yep. I hope you know you're cutting it really close. So, That's fine. the two of you are a team? Team? No, it's just me. Yes, the two of us are a team. I need to get into that audition, but I won't let anyone else fight my battles for me. That includes you, mister. All right, team it is. Head to the waiting area down below. Time to get on the elevator. Down, down, down we go. So, how deep does this thing go, you think? Um, pretty deep. I wonder how many people are fighting. Hey, you're not nervous, are you? Nope. Nope. Really? You're even more quiet than usual. Just trying to focus. Like you should. Hey! Lovebirds! Over here! In the city that never sleeps, in the paradise of debauchery, it's in the pain and pleasure. Where your every desire can be indulged for the right price. All market. To you esteem connoisseurs of chaos and bloodshed, we bid you the warmest of welcomes. Are you sitting comfortably? Or tonight, the most gruesome spectacle anywhere in Walmart or beyond shall be yours to witness here in the Corneo Coliseum. Tonight's grand prize is no less than one million gil, and there's only one way to get it. Brutalize your opponents, thoroughly and utterly, viciously, without mercy, until they vomit black. Only the most ruthless fighters, the savages still standing here at the end, shall claim the gil and the glory. And now, the long-awaited event in which the bloodthirst beast will battle for your amusement, and upon us! Warriors of every shape and size will fight to the death before your very eyes. And tonight, Corneo Tom! Wow, this place is really something. It really is. It's in here. Oh. Let's look at the vending machine. Grab one mega potion, grab an ether, and grab a phoenix down. Nice. Okay. No. No. All right. What about material wise? No, nothing here I would really use. Alrighty. How am I looking on? Yeah, I gotta rest. I wasn't sure if it had me fully healed prior. Um, so I just wasn't sure. But, now I know. What's in this room? Oh, there's Johnny. 
<laughs> I guess you went and lost. Oh, <laughs> you again. Ouch, what happened to your face? I just needed a little scratch, you know. So I signed up for the preliminaries and, well, I hope you guys realize what you're getting into. I don't want to scare you, but if you can make a run for it, you should. I'm also more of a fighter than you, though, Johnny. Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. We're in way too deep to back out now. Let's go. You two ready? Yep. Try not to get yourselves killed. I'll try. For our next batch, we welcome two fighters, a young couple no less. Talk about a bad day! And this is their first tournament, the bad first date, and most likely their last, inexperienced as they are. Or are they? Give it up for Cloud and Eric! <laughs> So dead. The Sanguine Stalker! Oh, so those guys aren't fighting. Someone else. You brought animals? Oh. First timers, huh? There's no rule that says you gotta fight man to man. We're in for a treat, ladies and gentlemen. Who will prevail in this brutal contest between man and beast? This could be over in an instant, so don't even blink. Without further ado, the fourth match of the first round begins now. Let's assess. Allow me. Okay. So the are nice. <laughs> Nice. That's it. That's it. It's over. Don't overdo it. Here goes. Let's have her use fire up. Why don't you lead the way? I don't think anyone saw this coming! What a completely unexpected turn of events! And the winners of our match are... Cloud and Eris! Well, that's one win down. Go team! Hmm. What's wrong? The rules don't make sense. Yeah, true. But maybe it'll be better in the next match? Nah. Wouldn't bet on it. Better to expect the worst. All right, let's go in here. Let's heal on up. Cloud and Aaron, your match will begin shortly. Please make your way to the gate. Alright, so I'm going to end this video here, and I'll see you next time with some more Final Fantasy VII Remake.